What's good? What's happening, guys? Welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs for our weekly rip once again here on a Thursday. As you can see, we've got some 2024 tops, a couple of hanger boxes here. I think maybe I stumbled across a restock at Target, and I feel like usually I don't see tops until later in the year. So I saw a bunch of stuff there. Had to uh, pick it up and give it a look. I have not, I have no idea what this looks like. I haven't watched anybody open it or anything. No, no odds on the back, which is a little bit unusual, but we've got 59 cards in here. Some decent rookies to be on the lookout for. We will uh, start with the one here that I've got in hand. We're gonna compare and see which box is better. We've got ourselves a little hanger box battle, but like I said, some Pretty decent rookies we can uh, be hopefully finding here. Of course, uh, Ellie De La Cruz is going to be the primary one. Then you've got uh, guys like Jason Dominguez is in here. Jordan Lawler's rookie card. Uh, you've also got like Curtis Mead. Pretty much after Ellie and Dominguez, it gets a little debatable. Look at this design. Like I said, this is my first time peeping this. I haven't watched... Uh, any videos at all of anybody else checking this out so didn't really know what to expect of course the box kind of gives it away now but let's inspect a little bit further I well, it's kind of like a uh, I don't, not like a foil kind of a finish -ish, finish -ish, ish thing to it but uh, I kind of dig it I like it Johnny DeLuca rookie card. This is like, what does this remind me of? I feel like you could, I feel like you could call this like, uh, like Tops After Dark. <laughs> it's like a neon lighting with that black there. I, I really, I really dig this design. There is Will Brennan, Colton Cowser rookie card. That's a pretty decent one. Kyle Freeland, yeah, I like it. It's almost like, like I said, like a neon lighting. No sign of uh, Ellie yet. Obviously, uh, gonna be looking for Red Sox as well. If you're new to the channel, I PC the Red Sox, as well as Mike Trout. There is Tyler Soderstrom a rookie card. Daniel Bard it is still so weird to me that he is still in. MLB, the Red Sox basically almost ruined him. Henry Davis, I forgot about that. That's another uh, one of the better rookies you can find in here. We've got National League leaders. Snell, Senga. Nothing crazy yet. Obviously, the ever-present horizontal cards that I am not a fan of. Christopher Morell, Future Stars. Yeah, it's not like a, it's almost like a flat black kind of a design, I want to say. Like that, I guess that's what it reminds me of, at least those kind of paint jobs you see on cars. Not so often anymore, but it's almost like a flat black paint job with neon lighting. Yeah, I really, this is probably one of my more favorite Topps designs in years, to be honest with you. There is Brian Wu for the Nature Boy. Miguel Cabrera, who finished up last year. He will absolutely get into the Hall of Fame. I don't think anybody can really argue that. There is Curtis Mead, who we mentioned at the beginning. I saw the Reds and got a little excited. So Matt McLean, Gold Cup. Thought maybe we'd see Ellie there. No luck quite yet. There is Jordan Lawler, though, not the base. This is the new stars of MLB, which we've seen in, God, what, like the last four or five years of tops now, but that is the Chrome Edition, so that's a pretty decent one to come across. And here is the exclusive yellows, exclusive to the hanger boxes. Nothing crazy out of those. A team card. That's pretty much it. Then we've got Adley Rushman with the 89 design, looking pretty, looks pretty clean. And why is these all flipped backwards? Not sure what 
is going on here. Let's uh, get some straightforward direction. Marco Luciano stars of MLB Rookie. Another one of the good rookies that could be found in here. I say good, like I said, really after, uh, there's an Otani, stars of MLB. After uh, Ellie and Jason Dominguez kind of drops off a little bit. Paul Goldschmidt, what in the blue hell is this called? Looking like a blueprint, but was SB something was the number. Here's our first one for the uh, unfocused camera. First one for the Red Sox collection. Nick Pavetta, just a common, but they do keep the commons as well. Marlins team card. There is Luis Robert making a leaping grab. We got Brent Rooker. Students of the game. Elbies and Acuna. Jake Fraley. Cabrian Hayes. What happened to Cabrian Hayes? I feel like I don't hear really anything about him anymore. Stephen Kwan. And then G1 Bay. For all the bays out there. That's box number one. Let me know what you thought of that one in the comments down below. A couple of uh, good rookies in there. We got the Jordan Law. Let's not chop our fingers off here. Got the Jordan Lawler Stars of MLB Chrome rookie insert. We found Curtis Mead, Henry Davis. No sign of Ellie or Dominguez. But let's see what box number two has in store for us. Hope you guys enjoy these box battles. Make sure you uh, hit that thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of stuff stored up here for the coming weeks for us to be checking out. Some throw more throwback football, which we checked out last week. We won't be throwing it back quite as far when we get to that one. Some modern uh, basketball, some modern football, so a bunch of cool stuff to come. There's Nick Gonzalez, Matt Olson. I dig those. What were they, 70s Braves uniforms? Those are pretty cool. Early 80s, late 70s. Jose Fermin rookie card. There is Bryce Harper, probably a future Hall of Famer. I'm not messing with the horizontals this time. You can, you can see who it is without me having to flip them every which direction. Spencer Horwitz, Aaron Judge, and another Henry Davis. So I guess if we're going to come across some repeats, we'll take a couple Henry Davis rookie cards. We've got... Even more repeats, that's um, not something you want to come across uh, really in any situation, but at least hangar boxes. It does seem to happen more frequently. There's Corbin Carroll, Gold Cup, Chris Taylor, Nathaniel Lowe, Royce Lewis, Luke Rayleigh, Houston Astros, and another leaping grab. Was that the theme of the photography this year? I feel like we've seen a few uh, leaping grabs. Evan Carter, I failed to mention, but that is another probably towards the top of the rookie class of 2024, so that's a nice find. Zach Remillard, rookie. The old California Angels uniform there on Reed Detmers. And then what do we have here? Is this going to be... Oh, here we go. So it's a yellow, but it's like a yellow foil on this Trey Cabbage rookie card. Trey Cabbage. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Here's our other yellows. I don't know what that one's called. That, as we saw, that one had like a yellowish rainbow foil on the Trey Cabbage. 89 design, Bo Bichette. And then if this is like the last one, we're going to have a stack, yeah, a nice stack of stars of MLB. Soderstrom rookie, Paul Goldschmidt, we're really striking out on Red Sox here, Vladdy Jr. and Jordan. And then another Shohei here, 2023 Greatest Hits. I feel like we did a top, but it might have been 23 tops where we did a hanger box battle and pulled a Shohei Greatest Hits. Pretty sure. Could have been the year before. Here's our last ones here. I am not even about to try and pronounce that dude's name. Or maybe I am. Lodzinski? I have no idea. John Gray. Daniel Palencia with... Almost like a... 
Hurdy poop face. <laughs> Paul Seawald. Lozardo in the old Florida Marlins uniform. Tristan Martinez, rookie, with those hideous Diamondbacks uniforms. And then Felix Batista, as always, with free pack dust on some of the cards. But that is all we've got for 24, 24 tops. Like I said, I really, really dig the design of this. Let me know what you guys think of the design in the comments down below. And let me know what you thought, uh, which box was better. I am honestly not sure. I think there was probably a couple, well, uh, well, thinking about it. We had the Evan Carter in box number two, another Henry Davis. Yeah, boy, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this an even, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys in the comments down below to let me know which box you thought was better. But again, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. That's it for tonight. I kind of ran down what we might be looking for or looking through here in the coming weeks. So uh, whatever strikes me, whatever I'm in the mood for next Thursday is what we'll be ripping. So make sure you come on back for that. Check out all the other content here on the channel. And uh, enjoy the rest of your night. We'll see you again real soon.